preface this by saying, my questions here are an attempt to get my head around and to ask all of you to help us to get our heads around what these, this generative AI, particularly the large language models, what it can do. So I'm trying to understand its capacities and then its, its significance. So I'm looking at a paper here entitled, Large Language Models Trained on Media Diets Can Predict Public Opinion. This is just posted about a month ago. The authors are Chu, Andreas, Ancelabere, uh, and Roy. And their conclusion, uh, this work was done at MIT and then also at, at Google, their conclusion is that large language models can indeed predict public opinion. And they go through and, and, and model why this is the case. And they, they conclude ultimately that an AI system can predict human survey responses by adapting a pre-trained language model to subpopulation specific media diets. So in other words, you can feed the model a particular set of, of media inputs and it can, with remarkable accuracy, and the paper goes into this, predict then what people's opinions will be. I, I'm, I wanna think about this in the context of elections. If these large language models can even now, based on the information we put into them, quite accurately predict public opinion, you know, ahead of time, I mean, predict, it's before you even ask the public these questions, what will happen when entities, whether it's corporate entities or whether it's governmental entities or whether it's campaigns or whether it's foreign actors, take this survey information, these predictions about public opinion, and then fine-tune strategies to elicit certain responses, certain behavioral responses. I mean, we already know, this committee has heard testimony, I think three years ago now, about the effect of something as prosaic, it now seems, as Google search, the effect that this has on voters in an election, particularly undecided voters in the final days of an election who may try to get information from Google search, and what an enormous effect the ranking of the Google search, the articles that it returns has come an enormous effect on an undecided voter. This, of course, is orders of magnitude, far more powerful, far more significant, uh, a, a far more directive, if you like. So, Mr. Altman, maybe you can help me understand here what some of the significance of this is. Should we be concerned about models that can, large language models, that can predict survey opinion, and then can help organizations, entities fine-tune strategies to elicit behaviors from voters. Should we be worried about this for our elections? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Senator Hawley, for the question. It's, it's one of my areas of greatest concern, the, 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 the more general ability of these models to manipulate, to persuade, uh, to provide sort of one-on-one -on -one, uh, you know, interactive disinformation. I think that's like a broader version of what you're talking about, but given that we're going to face an election next year and these models are getting better, uh, I think this is a significant area of concern. I think there's a lot there's a lot of policies that companies can voluntarily adopt, and I'm happy to talk about what we do there. Um, I do think some regulation would be quite wise on this topic. Uh, someone mentioned earlier, it's something we really agree with. People need to know if they're talking to an AI, if, if content that they're looking at might be generated or might not. I think it's a, a great thing to do, is to make that clear. Um, I think we also will need rules, guidelines uh, about what what's expected in terms of disclosure uh, from a company providing a model uh, that could have th these sorts of uh, abilities that you talk about. So I'm nervous about it. I think people are able to adapt quite quickly. Uh, when Photoshop came onto the scene a long time ago, you know, for a while people were really quite fooled by photoshopped images and then pretty quickly developed uh, an understanding that images might be photoshopped. Uh, this will be like that, but on steroids. And the, the interactivity, um, the ability to really model predict humans well, as you talked about, uh, I think is going to require a combination of companies doing the right thing, regulation, and public education.